It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Cards and the Commanders, and it's all up next. We are technically five miles east of Washington, D.C., and that's where you find this place, FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Arizona Cardinals taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, the wait is over. The regular season is upon us. It is kickoff weekend around the NFL. Our two teams here getting in a final tune-up, but let's look ahead to the 2023 season. What are you going to be watching for? How about some of the recognizable new faces in new places? Aaron Rodgers, Derek Carr, Odell Beckham Jr. The identity of teams under new coaches in places like Houston, Carolina, and Denver. And then, of course, the rookies. After the draft, we want to see how they perform. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. Here's Antonio Gibson. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The commander's set to go to work on offense and they've handed the controls to this man in his second NFL season, former Tar Heel Sam Howell. Howell got the nod from commander's leadership to be the team's starter this year, a nice bump for last year's fifth round pick. One start as a rookie and didn't look bad at all winning the team's finale. And let's not forget, this is a guy who was once viewed as a first round pick. So there's plenty of promise hidden beneath the surface. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Well, they'll come up second and seven. Hal running right on the option. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Here's Hal. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. On first and 10, it's Gibson, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Al down to throw it. Got 
route is complete to Jahan Dotson. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 17-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. They all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Powell. And Thomas has it. And the Commanders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Robinson. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Give him two yards on that one, second and goal now. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back and that's a good first step. Off play action, it's Hal. And that is caught, touchdown Washington. Curtis Hodges from a yard out. And the Commanders will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. This is where, as a tight end, you've got to really sell that this is a run. They're going to fake the give, hope the linebackers bite, and here they do just enough. That split second, that's all it takes for that tight end to leak out into the end zone. Touchdown. Extra point by Sly is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. They'll be led out by their 6'4 QB from the University of Tennessee. It's Joshua Dobbs. Brandon, I know he isn't at the status of some of the elite names in this league, but I do know he's an absolute fighter because he's heard all the criticisms. He's read the articles to say he isn't good enough to be the starter, and he absolutely does not care. All he wants to do is prove every doubter wrong and show that he belongs in this spot. Dobbs looking to throw on first down. And his throw is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Out of the gun, Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and guess it. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's Washington, and he gets it back into the end zone. It's a fumble recovery leading to a Washington touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Now Joey Sly for the point after. Go, 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 
And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. here for more it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 so the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game they find themselves in a good size hole here in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down To throw his Dobbs. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Dobbs. Finds his running back, James Conner. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 27 yards there, a first down. That's going to be a good matchup for him. Using him out of the backfield, telling those linebackers, hey, you're not only going to have to try and run with him, but you're going to have to try and tackle him in the open field. From Commander's territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. Oh, Pascal able to haul that one in. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 39 yards there, a big one. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be Full of big plays. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. They'll run here with Connor. And from the nine, they get this to the five yard line. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Dobbs is throwing. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Here's Dobbs to throw. And that is caught by Brown for a Cardinal touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have cut it back within a score. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to 7. A drive that time of six plays. And it's Hollywood, Marquise Brown, who finishes it off with the touchdown.
After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Faking the handoff, Howell. And looking for McLaurin, but this is intercepted. Jalen Thompson picks it inside the 20. And they will score. It's a pick six for the Cardinals touchdown. But Charles, you can just see the frustration on the sideline. Safe to say that's not how they expected this series to go. The ball only went one way, and it was backward into their own end zone, courtesy of the pick six. And Brandon, how often do we hear offenses tell us before a game they want to end every series with a kick, right? A punt, a PAT, or a field goal? In case of a defense, they want to end with a punt or a takeaway. And we saw the takeaway right there, and it turned out to be a takeaway that turned into six points. Extra point good by Prater, and we are tied at 14. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll have this all the way out to the 50-yard line. Excellent field position. The commanders preparing for their next possession. They had that 14-0 lead, but that has evaporated as they go to work here first and 10. Well, that return gives them a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? Now first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders, right at the 50-yard line. Shotgun handoff to Gibson. Shreds the tackle and still fighting. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 34 yards there and a first down. What we saw there, that's what we know that he can do. He can break tackles and turn them into big runs, and that's what he did. And what is the buzz phrase nowadays in football for a guy like that? Contact balance. The ability to go through trash, come out the other side, avoid and run through contact, and keep your balance. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And Howell will throw it. And that'll be complete to the running back, Gibson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. And he's in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson, a 10-yard touchdown run. And Washington has taken the lead. Well, Brandon, if we go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator, he showed us his script. Didn't show us everything now. He said, here's the script for the game. I think everything's going according to plan in a big way. Three drives, three touchdowns. Yeah, that's about as good as that is as good as you can do, I guess. So well done. Yeah, well done indeed. Tremendous execution. An extra point by Sly is up and good. And the lead is now 
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big break. Breaks a tackle now with Alley. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Good pickup by Connor, such an easy player to root for. And in 2022, he really meant a great deal to the Cardinals offense with almost 800 yards rushing. His veteran presence, invaluable as they went through a bunch of changes on offense. Right back to Connor here on first. And he is gonna be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. How about Jonathan Allen there pushing up field to make the stop behind the line? I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. On second down, Dobbs. All the commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses have their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. Rondale Moore. 57 yards. And the Cards are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Prater for the extra point, and we are tied at 21. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And Gibson decides against bringing it out. Washington ready to try again on offense. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? On the tackle, it was the West Virginia man, Kaiser White. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuck the run. Second down, Hal now. He's got a man complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. They'll get 34 yards there. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Gibson here running out of the gun. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 
62 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Boy, some big runs here, Charles, already in this first quarter. Yeah, if the lanes are there, go ahead and exploit them. But what I like the most, how decisive he is, putting his foot in the ground and going. With a play fake, and now here's how to throw it. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second and ten. A give up the middle to Gibson. Down right around the 25. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Hal throwing on third down here. Complete, it's Dodson. And they're going to stop him short of the first down as he's tackled at about the 21. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go up and make the tackle right away. Sly able to put this one through. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. After the main field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. On the return, Rondell Moore will bring it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Arizona's offense at the line, ready to get their drive started. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them, they feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. Back to throw Dobbs. Ertz over the middle. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it, and they do so and pick up a first down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Off the play fake, here's Dobbs. His throw incomplete. Here's second and ten. Connor up the middle. 
And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 51 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. What an advantage having an elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself as we just saw there. Here's Dobbs to throw. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out and hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively. And they stop it well short. Prater's kick is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field. So let's see what this is about. And that flag accepted. Automatic first down. So a special team's mistake on the field goal try leads to a new set of downs inside the red zone. They run behind center with Connor. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Montez Sweat with a tackle. Second down and eight. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Again, it's Connor. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Throwing here, Dobbs. is going to be incomplete. Smart move to throw that one away. You're in field goal range, so you definitely don't want to be loose with the ball. And that's great work by this defense to force a fourth down. So on is Matt Prater now to try a field goal here. This a 43-yard attempt. Prater's kick is good. And that will tie us at 24 all. So a dozen plays on that drive CD, but in the end, it yields just the three points. Well, they were able to keep the defense on the field for a long time, but let's be honest about it. That was about as unsatisfying a drive as you're going to get. 12 plays and you only get three points out of it. Not quite the ending they were looking for.
Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Back onto the field now, the commander's offense. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Now a second and ten. Now they go play action with Hal. A quick throw there is incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. From the gun on third down, Howell. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A good pick up there, 26 yards. No shortage of impressive moments for him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. They'll dump that off to Gibson, complete. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. On second down, a run with Gibson. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. This now a third and four. They'll go play action. Howell. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And Ron Rivera, he's going to keep the offense on the field. They're going for it. Going for it on fourth. Here's Hell. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down. And an exhale there as they convert on fourth. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Down to about the 32. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They could probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Powell. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and eight. Here's Hal. Dancing to his left. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A strong pickup of 11 keeps their drive alive. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. Off play action, it's Hal. And this one too low. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. From the 21, it's second and 10. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals' 13-yard line. 77 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the commanders are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. This is caught, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turned it into a successful play. Gibson, and he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Antonio Gibson with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Commanders have taken the lead. And always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there in the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. slide out a kick off after the touchdown and no run back here for more it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over Dobbs looking to throw on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Brown. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. From the gun, a give to Connor. And Connor going to pick up a Cardinals first down as he'll get this up past the 35 yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. And the Washington pressure gets to him. He will go down. No surprise there. Chase Young wrecks that play with a sack. 
He continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. To throw is Dobbs. And that is incomplete here. What a sequence there defensively. You get the sack to move him to third and long. Then here, just nothing available. And he's got to throw it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's a handoff to Connor. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the Cardinals punter now. Dax Mill deep for Washington. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Washington's offense ready to go again. There's Antonio Gibson. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good returns for a guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation that what they've seen already There's will continue. More. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't, why don't you just play? You don't. I'm not good enough to play in a fantasy game. Yeah. I enjoy watching you're an analyst. analyst. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Of course. Okay. That's a champion. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pick up here toward the end of the first half. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. So the completion good for just three. And it's second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Hal from the gun. That one complete out to Dotson. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Another throw for Howell. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Here's Hal to throw on second down. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Hal. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. 
This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. Now the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So good field position for the Cardinals as they come up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Here now, second and four. Now Dobbs. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. Seven yards there at a first down. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football. And now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Well, past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Second and five. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. He takes this for three to the 29. They need two. Here's third down. On play action, it's Dobbs. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
like the call on third and two. They were geared up to stop the run. I like the fact they just hit them quick. A little slant route. All about timing there, partner. Yeah, the timing, everything well executed. On first and ten is Connor. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Here's Dobbs to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 42. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. On the handoff, Connor. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here's second and five now from the 37. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he'll go down at the 28. 81 yards rushing now for Connor and a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. On first down, downs to throw. Ertz has it left side. So give him two yards there on the completion, and that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So from the 26-yard line, here's second down and eight. Throwing here, Dobbs. Finding Ertz again. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington 16. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Dobbs to throw. Trying for Brown and it's intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And the Commanders are going to take over once again with a football at their own 20-yard line. Tough one there. First drive of the third quarter, throw an interception, and now a chance that they could be in even a bigger hole if they can convert this into points. Yeah, but how good do you feel if you're that defensive coordinator right now? Because you just know that the head coach looked at him and said, turn them loose, big man. And he'd be able to take a few extra chances playing with this type of a lead. And boy, it paid off. Howell and the Commanders come up now, first and 10 at the 20. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, second down. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. 
point of selling points at the end route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball to the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. Third and two. Now they go play action with Hal. That's into the hands of his tight end Bates. And he's going to have a commander's first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. And they run the option here on first and ten. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. And credit Chris Barnes rushing in there and hitting him for a loss. Well, he's had success running the football in this one, and that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And, partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Third down and 10. Powell throwing on third down here. And that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Faking the handoff, Howell. That's going to be caught downfield by McLaurin. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So into Cardinal territory now. It's first and 10 at the 34. And here's a give to Gibson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here's a second and five. Throwing here, Howell. This one left side caught by Gibson. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They read zone coverage there and thought there was some space to send their guy right to the middle on a slam, hoping he would get lost. Instead, they read it quite well and closed quickly. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Second down throw for Howell. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Hal looking to throw again. And now another one thrown incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Field goal unit and Joey Sly now. He connected on his first, this from 41. Sly able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. 
But whatever was said in the locker room during the break must have worked. They forced the turnover. They didn't get the touchdown, Charles, but it does translate into three points to begin the second half. Exactly as they discussed in the locker room at halftime. Get some points to get things kick-started. Now start your half off with some momentum. Gives you something to build on for your next possession. After the made field goal, here's Sly to kick this one away. And Moore, he's going to sit on this one, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. The Cardinal offense here ready to take over. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. It's Connor as they stay on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Now Dobbs. Throws this one right side to Pascal. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards to pick up. Good enough for an Arizona first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. Dobbs is throwing. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it was really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that answer. <laughs> Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. Antonio Gibson and the Washington offense ready to go here once more. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. Those are some <laughs> massive men. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Second down, Hal back to pass. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm is confused. just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Al down to throw it. Eluding the pressure right. 
And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Kaiser White, the former safety, gets the sack. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Back now at FedEx Field. As it looks like we are just about set and ready to begin with the fourth. Here's Tressway now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cards will take over first and 10. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. So first and 10 now from the 30. They start the drive with Connor. Cameron Curl up to make the tackle. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Second and nine. to throw his Dobbs. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly. And they were able to break it up. The offense on third down, not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and nine. Back to throw Dobbs. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he's on here to punt it away. Fair catch single four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. A first and 10 here for Hal and the Commanders. Just shy of the 30. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. So fourth quarter, a nice run there to start this drive. Charles, what do you think the split will be here between run and pass? Well, partner, I think it'll lean towards the run, but this is also not a time where you just totally do that. You still have to possess the ball, move the sticks, and keep the clock moving as well. So they'll run their offense, but yeah, when they have a chance to run it, they'll do that a little bit more. And McLaurin going to pick up a commander's first down as he's up to the 44-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. First down, Hal to throw. Over the middle, brought in by Dotson. Call it a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On the counter, Gibson. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark. Got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and the blockings of line is executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. And they're going to have another first 
first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 38-yard line. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Powell. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. We've seen him escape similar situations earlier in the game and get away from pretty good yardage. At that time, they get him down. Yeah, they've had enough evidence that he can get away and run for good yardage, haven't they? That time it felt like, okay, enough of this. Let's play it the right way and get him on the ground before he does any damage. So the pitch and catch good for 11. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. But normally you might say start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. So this drive going to continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Yeah, Howe will throw it. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Gibson. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. Here's Hal to throw on second down. Short throw there, caught by Thomas. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it's third and four now. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Here is third down and four. From the gun on third down, Hal. Looking for McLaurin, and he's got him. And he's going to have a commander's first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. A great effort there with an amazing diving catch. And the Commanders are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. An important score there, CD, and now an important extra point because it would make it a three-score game. Love the map there, and at this point in the fourth quarter, look, we all need next-gen stats, right? We all use them, but we don't need them here, do we? Because that means it's almost a certain victory. Extra point by Sly is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. So out now come the Cardinals. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Dobbs throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Dobbs now on second down. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The result of first down is a quick slant gets him 14. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. From just across the midfield stripe, here's a second down and six. From the shotgun, here's Dobbs. That's into the hands of Pascal. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 38-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Out of the gun, Dobbs. This is Ertz on the pitch and catch. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agree. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Now Dobbs. And a quick throw here, that's complete. A gain of seven that time, second goal. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. It's a one-yard touchdown run, and the Cardinals have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And this is going to be covered up by Washington. Now, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On first and 10, it's Gibson. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll run with Gibson. And just good downhill running there as he'll take this to the 15-yard line. Now the card's going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Once more, Gibson. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Hal throwing on third down here. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. So obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Sly for the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. That time, a six-play drive. And it's finished off by a Terry McLaurin touchdown.
Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing till the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Dobbs. Now the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Here's Dobbs to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. He's going to let it fly. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. The Washington offense set to take over. Well, CD, this is the ideal situation. The fourth quarter, you come out here late, not much time on the clock with a comfortable lead and put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, this offense, all game long, they've been powerful. They've been dangerous. You're exactly right. They can end this one on their own terms. Howell going to go down to a knee, and that should just about wrap this up. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.